Alright, welcome back to more of Quest of Light. Got some uh, basic resources in the last part. Boomerang, I need bow and arrow. Should be enough to start doing at least some of the little mini dungeons. And they're actually starting very conveniently. Uh, right at the one of them here. So again, what's listed here is just the items that you... It's not so much you need them, well you need a key, but um, kind of recommended items for the most part. Doesn't really matter. Start by going left. And we got guineas. Trying to get it to spawn on closer to me here. Ooh, a five. Yeah, that's a. <clears throat> got the, the blue ones are five. So you got a little green, and then a medium-sized green, that's two, yellow's three, uh, red one you haven't seen yet, that's four, and then the blue one you just saw there's five. Um, well, if you go up... Uh, you don't have to worry about these dark rooms, I don't think there's any, you know, hidden traps or anything. And that's kind of your starting point where to figure out where to go. So we actually told the bomb right here. Now the item box here. I'll have to take a guess. It took me a little time to kind of figure out where it comes from. I think this is a similar item box to one I've seen in uh, Randomizer, Randomizer Classic. I think it's the same arrangement of items. And all that for the compass. And you can actually see the room well enough. Don't need to, nothing fancy in there. Give door already. You know, we obviously don't get grabbed by it. But that's why the boomerang's very handy, just to stun it. small map. Well, that's why it's a little mini dungeon. Even though the... Actually, a few blank rooms on this map. The compass was also in another blank room. And these bats actually drop actually more magic than hearts and stuff. Kind of handy for later. Trips in this room. It's an empty room. If you were to light it up, there's actually nothing in there. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. I think it's supposed to tell you what you get in this place. And this guy has a shield. Oh, 
forgot to get the boss key. So at least the bats drop items. So, boss for this place is, um, it's a bat rope, but actually more kind of like a low level one, um, since it only summons weak bats, uh, Boomerang takes them out. Um, so if you actually, if you didn't come here with a Boomerang, yeah, this might be a little tricky. Might actually get swarmed with bats here. but the boomerang will keep fair control of this place. Get some extra money while I'm at it. Let's take a fair number of hits to knock out that bat roll, though. You don't really get anything for it, it's just a piece of heart. Uh, if you look at your map, you can start testing the walls here. I'm gonna pick up the blue candle. And again, as mentioned, uh, all it's used for is lighting dark rooms. It, it's not going to burn any bushes. You need the red candle. At least it doesn't use magic. I'm actually heading towards uh, what I think is the actual level one. Here. And this is probably your actual level one. <clears throat> and most of the music I'm not gonna recognize. Alright, so boomerang and a magic shield. Which I do not have the magic shield, but um, that's really needed just to complete the level, which I'm not going to do right now. And those guys are in Zelda 2, and you guys are taking experience, so I just get money. And you gotta be careful with the Z-axis, because, uh, yeah, you land.
I'm really just after the, the item of this place. I actually need this. Uh, good thing you can attack from the doorway, so that save me some trouble. So those are actually shieldless dark nuts, so you can uh, attack them straight up. I get the problems. I have no magic shield to block any of this. You don't need the boss key, or uh, boss key, uh, you don't need the magic shield to uh, get the dungeon item. Uh, you actually need it to get the boss key. Uh, which again, I don't really care about in this case. Take out as many enemies as I can find. And the potential for cash. Hmm, those, some of these rooms might have instant respawn. in this room. Stay in the doorway and just to bite my time. Dark Knight. Get rid of you guys first. Whistle. I'll 
clear the level later on. I, mean, I don't have to wait too long. Because you probably do need a magic shield when you see the room you have to go through. Just to show you, you know, the blue candle doesn't do anything to that. Some of these, uh, especially blue mob ones, and they can drop arrows. At least better than one pack. Take the extra money. You're gonna be going up there, so it's not the safest place here with all the falling rocks and stuff. So one of the clues if you pay for you know five rupees, you know, use a circle of uh, six stones here, and you use the whistle. start there. And of course they're cornering the whole passage there. I'm not even gonna bother lighting this room. Um, you actually do want to light some of the rooms here because there are actually essentially floor hazards in here. The uh, first couple rooms don't have any hazards in them.
Hang on, this place can be a little bit treacherous. And some of the rooms, uh, again, this is gonna explain why you have to, you should bring a candle in. I mean, you can do it with no candle, but you probably will need photographic memory of the room. And it's not worth doing. Anyway, get a piece of heart in that other mini dungeon, so no point skipping that. Um, like I think this room, you know, you can try to go through it, but uh, you probably do want to light it up because you got this, and yes, those are actual thorns and stuff, so... Uh, so I think you they do a heart of damage if you run into them. Again, good thing for four-way direction movement because if you if this were if you had eight-way movement, I, I'm not sure if you can get through that room. It'd be very difficult. Because you can't line yourself up appropriately. Luckily, most of these rooms just have enemies in them, so that's really not that big an issue. I'm oh, getting a fair amount of money here. That'll save me on expenses later on. stairs. And you just gotta make sure you line yourself up with the tiles so that you can, you know, kind of line you up correctly. Yeah, this room can be a little bit dangerous. Maybe you have like a little fire... Fire souls. Fire gels. Uh, luckily, I don't think these reform or anything. Just take two, uh, two hits. Now, uh, if you want to be safe, you can use uh, arrows. One shot them. kind of a hint for where you need to go, although the compass kind of guides you anyway, so it's not really that secret. I kind of just walked up into this passage. You guys drop magic at least. In this next room, it might be worth bringing arrows. Uh, those are actually trebles. So they're gonna reform into uh, the big zoles, and they do a lot of damage if you touch the big one. Uh, I think it's two hearts. So, you know, get arrows out. And actually, if you're lucky, I think one of them might be the leader. So if you actually take that one out, you just take out the rest of the room. Okay, red candle. I 
and now we got a lot of exploration we can do because we can burn all those bushes. The only problem with this is uh, that it takes magic to use. So. I have to try to get some uh, magic drops here. and gels and stuff can drop magic. I've never really seen it. I'm just waiting for him to actually drop me some magic. I actually do want to have full magic. I'm gonna do some exploration here. Actually, um, I'm gonna go get this. I'm actually right next to this spot. So here, you're getting the bush in the middle here. It's kind of cracked. Pick up the spin attack. I mean, it's free. Might as well pick it up. I know these guys drop magic here. And something's gonna have to drop. Even a little jar is fine. Ah, there we go. And since a little jar is worth one... one jar refill. Okay, so... Got to a couple mini dungeons. Got some uh, handy items and I use this a lot for exploration. Uh, so next part is probably just gonna be scouting around, picking up whatever uh, goodies I can find. Kind of go from there. All right, see you guys later.